Hello. I'm going to walk you through the main features of InfraWizard. I've got a project with three networks and I'm going to use the create pipes command to create a new one from line objects. I'll name the network FF and set its type as pressure network. By clicking manage networks, I can control the visibility of all networks in the project. I can also add and delete networks here. I'll assign a surface to the network as I'm using Civil 3D. Now let's use group editing to make all nodes get their ground levels from the same assigned primary surface. I'll also change the type of this node to simple fitting. As soon as I do this, InfraWizard will automatically assign the suitable fitting based on the pipe sizes and the angle between them. I'll then assign invert levels to the first node and the last node only in the pipeline we created. The Unify Slope command will do the rest by calculating invert levels for the remaining nodes so that the whole line will have a uniform slope. You can see that InfraWizard has automatically annotated the crossing points between this new pipeline and the other networks in the project. Let's show the other networks again. I can move any crossing annotation and it will remain pointing to the intersection point. A crossing annotation indicates the network, the size, and the invert level of each of the two crossing pipes, and the net vertical clearance between them. I'll use the Crossing Settings panel to control which crossings to be shown. As I set a smaller value of critical clearance, many of them have disappeared. And here is my favorite part. I'm going to create longitudinal profiles for one of the networks using automatic pipe selection which saves a lot of time. I can control the content and format of a profile using Profile Styles. And I can simply edit it with a double click. I'm changing the datum elevation here, for example. Finally, let's get our 3D BIM model with a simple export. I've got all pipes, fittings, and structures assembled as 3D solids, and I can export this model to an NWC file to use it in Autodesk Navisworks. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. Get your free license of InfraWizard now by visiting our website, infrawizard.com.